Playing soccer games on older consoles was always a fun time, even dating back to the early FIFA games and even with the likes of the ISS Pro games that would later become the Pro Evolution Soccer series. Moving on to the PlayStation 2 era, I remember getting the first Pro Evolution Soccer game not long after I'd bought the console, it was actually the second game I'd bought after Grand Theft Auto 3 and it was the one game that took me away from that because it was so much fun to play with your mates. As I was a big fan of the ISS Pro series, especially with ISS Pro 98 on the original PlayStation as I consider that to be one of my all time if not my favourite soccer game ever so it would take a lot to beat it in many respects but then we get Pro Evolution Soccer 2 in 2002 that would release on the Playstation and even on the Nintendo Gamecube and would also release under different variations with World Soccer winning 11 within the Japanese region and the game would receive universal acclaim in both regions selling a whole boatload of units even to one point that it outsold FIFA for the first few months of its release and quickly going into the Platinum Collection within the European region alone in its first year selling over 2.5 million sales within the region and many of the magazines across the board highly rated the game even to this day it's considered still to be one of the greatest football games ever in the history of video games as it takes everything that was good about the first title even the way back to games that were seen on the PlayStation 1 but it added so much more in terms of its gameplay value and control systems if anything the game is one of the easiest to pick up and play soccer games in the PES series ever in history it's so fluent it just there's just something about it that just stands out like even when we get later titles and it, the funny thing is I always find with the PES games even my friends and that we used to play a lot of these games over the years where we would always buy the latest edition of it and it was always a different dynamic with regards to different versions of the game the first game would always be really good but would be tough to master whereas the second every second game always seemed to be better than the game that was in between Pro Evolution Soccer 2, we all love that and we all consider that to be one of the best in the series, if not the best in the series in terms of play, especially on the PlayStation 2. But then PES 3 came out, a brilliant game in its own right, but was definitely harder to pick up and play and it wasn't as easy to get used to with regards to the controls, but I suppose with each iteration, the developers were always trying to add different dynamics to add more realism to the game. Then you had PES 4, which played a lot more like PES 2, which was easier to pick up and play for some reason, just felt like it was. PES 5 went back to what the first and third games felt like and then PES 6 played more like 2 and 4 but at the same time was also more realistic in, in terms of how it actually played overall but it was still a solid game. Now after that I never really played many of the later installments on the likes of the Playstation 2. I kind of gave up by PES 6 because there was just too many football games and if you played one you pretty much have played them all in most regards. Right there is a few subtle tweaks with regards to control dynamics special moves tricks and even the updated character and team rosters but if that's something you're into then yeah by all means you can go and get those new games but if you have as much fun with the game that you currently have like in this case with PES 2 you don't need any other football game in all respects to it now I know people will debate that but personally the amount of time that you were spending going out and buying the latest game only for to have more fun with the older game that you currently had which we definitely did with this game like for me personally among myself and my brothers and my mates I held some of the best winning records with regards to these games because for a long time there were some of my mates that actually could not beat me in any of these games until this game in particular. Now for the first couple of months I was trashing guys left right and centre but then eventually then the lads started to up their game and eventually they did start winning and they would win against me fairly well but it took a long time to do that but I'll never forget the first time that I did get bet in the game and yeah let's just put it this way the lads definitely never let me forget about it that's for sure but it was so much fun and I love the competitive nature of this game if anything for me this was as close to ISS Pro 98 on the PlayStation that I've ever played even to this day it's still for me I think it's the easiest to pick up and play soccer game on the PlayStation 2 and it's for me it's one of the best if not the best and that's just in my opinion everyone else will have a different opinion and that's totally fine but I just love simplicity with regards to games I love the pick up and play appeal something that's easy to get into but not only that that's a an absolute blast to have with friends and this game hands down wins in that category without a shadow of a doubt. What technique! I tell a lie, he's missed. Gentle pass. They've lost it. He can't get to 
it. And they've got the ball, and he's going for the long shot. He's headed that one. He's floated the ball through. He's got it. He's going for the long run. Now, it's not to say that I didn't have fun with all of the later games, which I did, and they were equally as competitive, but Pro Evolution 2, we often talk about it many times, and a lot of us can always remember back to this being one of the best in the series, if not the best, that we played on the PlayStation 2, hands down. And I would go as far to say that I would agree with a lot of the magazines, even with regards to reviews of the time, stating it to be one of the greatest, most influential soccer games in recent times. I still think that it is, in many regards, because we all know the likes of soccer games have seen a decline an awful lot in recent times with obviously with change in different names brands licenses everything has changed even the likes of the Pez series is no longer around it's known as eFootball and I haven't followed this really as much in recent times even though I still follow football like in real life but I do know that people don't really relate or appeal to the newer versions of the way soccer games are going as much now the FIFA games are still fun but you take that out of the equation there really is nothing else like what do you play when in all in the ground scheme of things well the best solution to that is to go back and play these older games it's as simple as they're still as much fun to play they still have their appeal they still have their value you can get them very very cheap like Pez 2 like if you go into the likes of the CEX store in your local town you can get this for like maybe a couple of dollars even less depending on the quality that is but if not you can play it on emulation and it's just as much fun to pick up and play today as it's ever been I still love it for me it is my favourite soccer game on the Playstation 2 and it's as close to Isis Pro that I think I'll ever get and there's so many great times and memories that I've had with this game over the years through the wins and through the losses but that's all the fun of it that's the joy of it all you win some you lose some but you'll always come back to have another goal and as we always say one more game you're not just content with just losing you always say to your mates one more game <laughs> you're always determined to win no matter what and but that was the fun of it i love it it's one of my favorite games in terms of sports titles ever and i will gladly go back to play this in a heartbeat and i did have fun playing this again recording footage for this video it's still as great as i remember and it always will be but i would love to know your thoughts of pro evolution soccer 2 for the playstation 2 if you have played it yourself and what do you think of this distinctive classic overall would you consider this to be one of your favorite soccer games on the playstation 2 or would you even consider it to be one of the best soccer games of all time it'll be interesting to hear whatever thoughts you do have of it so be sure to share it down in the comments below and if you would like to see more content around the many other obscure and unique soccer games that were released on the playstation 2 then leave a like on the video subscribe to the channel and you can also check out the playlist here on screen to see a lot more of those games in action that i already have previously covered on the channel and i will see you all in the next one